Hi, I'm Mary Helen Bowers, founder of Ballet Beautiful. I'm really excited to talk to you today about how to style your ballet shoes for a workout and more specifically how to tie your ribbons. So there's a lot of different ways to do it and it depends I think on whether you're looking for a look that's more fun and fashion, a little bit more girly with a bow, if you want to get more serious and technical, a little bit more performance mode, we have everything tucked in nice and tight. So there's a few different ways to do it. Let's start with the more technical of the options. So I've got my drawstrings pulled, they're tied, they're knotted here and um, then tucked in tight so you can't see anything and I've got my ribbons tucked in as well So I'm just gonna undo all of this so you can kind of get a feel for some of the different options So you would start with one. I like to flex the foot When I'm beginning and then just bring the ribbons around and again, this is all about personal style So even for professional dancers, we all do it differently and there's no one way that's right or wrong. So I'm gonna bring the ribbon into sort of a loose knot. Again, I'm leaving some slack here because you're gonna be dancing, you're gonna be working out, you're gonna be moving. You need to be able to flex your feet, bend and stretch your legs and make sure that your ribbons aren't pulling too tightly. So I like to leave a little bit of slack. I'm actually gonna loosen this slightly. So I've got this sort of sloppy knot here and then I would just tuck everything underneath. Um, if you're going on stage or on camera, something where you really wanna have a look that's clean and perfect, I would actually stitch these ribbons um, close so that there's no loose ends that come out as you start to move around. And again, taking that drawstring, I've got mine tied into a loose knot here. So you tighten the drawstring, right, to your specific because everybody's feet um, are gonna be different width. And you put a nice, gentle little knot and tuck that in. So this would be an example of styling your shoes for a much more technical, pre-performance type look. And then if we wanna look at the other foot for a look that's a bit more fun and fashion and I think flirtatious and sort of um, whimsical, I like to think about doing a big sort of floppy bow. So again, same thing, I'm gonna start bringing one ribbon across and then the other. We're gonna bring the ribbons together. I'm flexing my foot just so I can find that spot that's really nice. Um, I typically tend to tie my ribbons on the inside of my ankle just because that's where you would knot them um, for performance. So that's what always ends up feeling the most natural to me. I've even got some little bits and pieces here where I had these stitched in. Um, so you can see these little threads, I'll get rid of those. So here's an example if you wanna do a nice pretty bow on the inside of your ankle, I think that's so cute. It's feminine, it's girly, and it's a lot of fun. And you can even look at taking your drawstring out. Again, you always wanna make sure that you tighten the drawstring so you're getting the shoe to really hug your arch um, and be nice and tight. So I'm just gonna tighten that drawstring again. I'm gonna put it into a loose little knot and then I would put it in a bow from there. So you could keep the drawstring out for a look that's really girly and sort of silly, but a lot of fun. I think it's really whimsical and cute. Here's two totally different options. We have A, we have B, and they're both terrific. I think it's all about your personal style and what gets you excited for your ballet beautiful workout today. Remember, if you're looking to wear a pair of these for your own workout, you can find them on our website, balletbeautiful.com, and um, lots of great workouts there as well. So, can't wait to see you there, and I hope you enjoy.